Hi, welcome. Today we are going to study the points heat of sublimation and heat of transition. In the previous lecture, we have studied that when we heat a solid substance at its melting point, it get converted into the liquid state. That process is called as fusion and heat change involved that process is called as heat of fusion. Also, we have studied that when we heat a liquid substance at its boiling point, it get converted into the vapor state and that process is called as vaporization and heat change involved in that process is called as heat of vaporization. Now, in case of sublimation, it is a process when a solid changes directly into gaseous state without changing into liquid state. So, there is a conversion of solid directly into the gaseous state without changing into the liquid state. And it occurs at a temperature below the melting point of the solid. Heat of sublimation is defined as now the heat change or enthalpy change when one mole of a solid is directly converted into the gaseous state at a temperature below its melting point. Okay, so the solid substance get converted into the directly into the gaseous state without changing into the liquid state and the heat change or enthalpy change involved during that process is called as heat of sublimation. Suppose for example that iodine solid is get converted into the iodine in gaseous form. So during that process there is a value of delta H is plus 14.92 kilocalorie plus sign here therefore heat is absorbed during this conversion okay so delta H value it is a heat of sublimation in this case now second point heat of transition see the heat of transition is defined as the change in enthalpy which occurs when one mole of an element changes from one allotropic form to another. The change in enthalpy which occurs when one mole of an element changes from one allotropic form to another. So allotropic form. So allotropy is a phenomenon in which a substance can exist more than one physical state. For example, C carbon it can be exist in a diamond or diamond is an allotrope of carbon. Then carbon it can be amorphous. So conversion of carbon diamond into the carbon amorphous. In this case delta H value is plus 3.3 kilocalorie. So that delta H it is a heat of transition. So conversion of one allotrope of carbon into the another allotrope of carbon it involve the change in heat or change in enthalpy that change in heat is called as heat of transition similarly conversion of sulfur monoclinic into the sulfur rhombic in this case also there is delta h value is equal to minus 0 0.016 kilocalorie so this is the value of heat of transition and here minus sign is there it means that heat is evolved during that conversion and conversion of phosphorus white into the phosphorus red again here delta H value is minus 1.028 kilocalorie again negative sign is there therefore it involves evolution of heat so this is the these all are the transitions allotropic transitions are there and heat of transition is the 
change in heat or change in enthalpy which occurs when one mole of an element changes from one allotropic form to another allotropic form so this is about the heat of sublimation and heat of transition thank you